Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Mr. Babble, and I am back. This time I found an interesting one. Lair of the Clockwork God. Played a couple minutes of it just to experience the gameplay, and it's a really interesting one. It is a buddy comedy adventure featuring one guy who wants to only do, who wants it to be a platformer game, and his buddy who wants it to be a point and click adventure. Peru, two weeks ago. I hate this already. I'm not doing any platforming. Oh, look, we talked about this. Point and click is dead. It's one of those. It's those trendy platformers kids are in are in are in now, and we need to stay relevant. I'm gonna be an indie dialing platformer instead. You prance around all you like, Dan. I'm gonna stick with using my brain, my hands, and sometimes my mouth. So then, which super villain are we going to defeat with your amazing jumping skills? Actually, we're looking for a flower. What? This isn't one of your wacky adventures, Ben. It's a poignant quest. It's a rare and most likely metaphorical flower that cures cancer. You can't even get more worthy than that. Uh-huh. And once we find this flower, presumably we find a wacky florist, and we swap it for a more useful item? What's more useful than curing... Nah, we use it to cure our friend Matthew. He's got an unpleasant case of colon cancer. He needs our help. Oh, a particularly unpleasant. It's all very relevant and modern. Bloody hell. Right, we've done enough of your old-fashioned... I'm mixing my accents together. We've done enough of your, your, your talking already. Come on. Have fun using your brain. Well, I just... I, you wait day and I'll run ahead and call you if I need your help. I'll leave it to me to actually create a fusion of a British and New York accent. Oh, please, you must come round for a sport of coffee. Ah, fiddlesticks. This lever's too small and nimble for my colossal hands. All right, maybe I need your help already. Bull crap! that lever is huge. It's as big as his head. All right. Hey, Dan. Which Matt is it with cancer, anyway? Matt F? Nah, Matt C. Oh, shame. I like Matt C way more. Don't be so careless. We're being thoughtful and considerate, remember? Whoop. Yeah, this guy will not jump. He will not climb down ledges. He's kind of an ass, really. It's a wall switch. Only I can use these. All right. This guy won't even talk to people. The hell is this floaty monolith thing? Checkpoint. When we die, we spawn back at the last checkpoint we crossed. Standard platforming procedure. Death is now consequence free. Bar being a mild inconvenience. Hang on. Why well, can't Matt C just respawn then? How come he's all pathos and heartstrings? Ah, uh, he's not a platformer. It's different. How dissonant. It's death like anyway. Eh, hey, just a cold dark void with no concept of time or space, really. Yikes. No wonder platformers are so emo if they have to go through that every two minutes. <laughs> two minutes a year. Well, pick to it. Might even be able to make it across if we work together. Yeah, uh, two minutes. Uh, I, I, I last two minutes between deaths in platformers. Narrowing eyes. Or shifty eyes. For a dark, mysterious jungle, this place is positively bustling. You met one guy. One guy, count him, right there. Oi, you there, hippie. He's not a hippie, he's a hipster. Look at the shirt. You look a bit cluttered for a platformer. Eh, uh, thanks for the constructive feedback, but I'm actually an indie developer. My name's Tarquin, I'm the highest form of artistic creative imaginable. And you are? Uh, Ben. I'm from Point and Clicks. Oh, charming. I remember those from back in the olden days. Like my father used to play. Uh-huh. What's your game about? It's a dissection of loss due to cancer. Yeah, uh, I'm adding New York to him. It's a gauging mechanic where objects and can change size depending on Z-axis value. And it's gonna star me as the protagonist, man. 
That's a bit narcissistic, don't you think? Interesting opinion, but I like to think autobiographical games are super innovative. I cannot consistently hold on to an accent today. What's a Dave doing out here on the front lines? Great question, man. Doing research for our next game. Apparently there's thematically potent flower out here somewhere. They say it has the power to cure cancer. I'm going to use it as inspiration for our next interactive narrative experience. No chance, Buster. We want that flower. Sounds like a worthy quest. And Dan's all about that worthy crap now. Rival Project Day. I certainly welcome healthy competition. Good luck getting over these impassable spikes, though. Why do you talk so weird? I'm worried you might write it. I'm worried you might like write a negative Steam review. So are you going to get moving or what? I can't see through your massive beard. Well, full disclosure, I'm struggling to get over this pit of spikes. I'm developing a walking simulator, not a jumping simulator, man. Get back to work, you lazy dev. Okie dokie, have a productive day. Push. Come on, step, step, po stop posing and get a move on. Other people want to use the course. Hey, I have a platform now. Boing, boing. Just like James. Hey, just like James Bond of the Crocodiles. Platform is the coolest. Well, if you want to make a platform reference, you should have referenced Pitfall Harry, dude. Bri oh, I guess they're both British. Yeah, he's staying in New York. Yeah, this is a gentlemanly way to get things done. See how effortless it is to make things happen? Just stand in the right place and wait. Huh. I'll stick to jamming at things with my fingers, Ta. I absolutely love Ta. It basically means thank you. Or thanks. Or thank you, thanks. Or thank you, thank you. Please and thanks. Okay, I'm being silly. All right. Too many objects in front of me. Never happened before platforming got involved. They have a big thing to decide which one to interact with first. It's a power source. I'd be access if I had something to stand on. Then I could use more inventory items on it. Yeah, but the only thing in your inventory right now is your bladder. I don't even know why that's a thing. I mean, why it's a clickable thing. I only piss in two things, lavatories and graves. Technically, this is a grave, since I assume no one's going to pop by and give him a proper funeral. But it don't feel right. I'll save my precious wee-wee for a toilet or a proper grave. You're weird. Investigate. See, this is what happens if you get the extreme sports like um, indie development. Nice boots, though. They're huge with a little tweak they fit down. Oink. Three minutes in, you're already stealing the shoes off a dead man. Some things don't change, do they? I'm trying to cure cancer here. Hmm, there's also a bubble pipe. Which I should also grave rob. Again, not a proper grave. Yoink. Oh, a vet, thank you. And now I switch back. Uh, whoa, I'm not going past that. That would fry me to crispy. Hey, how come we can hear each other any distance now? It's that light telepathic bond we picked up during the Warl Octopus Stonehenge invasion, remember? Oh, yeah, where each archway led to a different plane of magic. Man, there were a lot of vague mystical wiffle waffle on that adventure. Ah, that crate looks movable. Oh, this is going to be the one thing that really I'm not going to use to is pushing a button to push things. I got to hold down. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm good. Ah, oh, crap. It's on a timer. 
I don't like timers. Ah, fiddlesticks. That jump's way too high for my current platform and skill levels. My boring single jump skills ain't gonna cut it here. I'm gonna need some kind of a double jump, whatchamacallit, in order to progress. Boring. I do like this factor, that little, you know, time, timer, you know, thing that will show how long it has before whatever switch I activated deactivates. Your nose is a different color from the rest of your face. It's really disconcerting. Yeah, it's quirky and alternative. Noses that are a different color from the rest of your face are so in right now. Even though it makes no sense. Well, your nose looks like it's from a different game entirely. I notice these guys are named Ben and Dan. You know how you keep buying stuff on sale just on impulse or whatnot? Well, I got a game called Ben There, Dan That, and I'm wondering if this is the same guys. Alright, um... I gotta figure out how to get that crate through here. Okay. I didn't really get this far in my play ahead. But I'll figure something out. I know I can't push it through the electricity. Through the electricity. I don't see a point in moving it all the way back. Oh, right. Okay. I'm good. I'm smart. I know stuff. I know what to do. I know what to do. Bye, baby bunting. Brother Dougie's gonna hunting to get a little rabbit skin. But now the rabbit's down a gun again. Hey, what's up, Doc? What's cooking? What's up, Doc? Alright. Boing. 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 Yeah, I definitely think they're both supposed to be British, but Dan is going to stay uh, New Yorkish. Be just because. That's why. Push, 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 push. Push, push, pull, pull, push, push. Nice swap. 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 There's the power source for that force field over yonder. None of this even makes sense, you know? Why are there all these platforms and buttons and stuff in the jungle? It's uh, surrealist. It's slapdash is what it is. I don't like it. Let's just agree to ignore any technology from here on out. It's ruining the vibe. Boats. Or gave it some welly. And now I can't get the battery. Or give it some more welly. Hey, no recycling jokes. Oh, okay, no recycling jokes. Hey, no recycling jokes until the next level at least. Yay! And now there's no more electricity in my way. You just press the jump button all you like. I'm no platformer. I refuse to engage any of my baser urges. I'm not walking off the edge of this ledge. I'm an adventurer. I'm not accustomed to gravity. What the hell just happened? You all saw that, right? It's the battery I liberated from that weirdy beardy force field generator. This battery is leaking a particularly volatile acid. Good thing my good job my fingers can't feel pain, or this might be jolly sore. Alright, no more electrical force fields, so I can just run through here. Alrighty. Hey, I told you you'd find walking easier once you took your hanky on a stick out of your pocket. Oh, I liked my old walk. It was jovial. Battery acid, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, ho. 
Success. SD battery's gonna come in pretty useful, I can tell. Uh oh. There's some sort of jumping beast monster in there. Dan! Use your platformer skills and jump on this damn thing, will you? Pop. Looks like the jumping trumpet bit still works. It's just his head that popped. Leaving the creature alive, but in horrific agony. But the important part is the jumping mechanism still works. Oh, so I just put it to shoes and make jump boots. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. A fine addition to my inventory. A deflated jumping beast with long thin arms like shoelaces. Yep. Combine. Huh. This should work to give Dan a little extra jumpy boost. I should source two of these jumpy creatures first, though. To match the number of feet he has. Ah, oh, I gotta go back and get that other one? How am I gonna do that? Meh. Meh. Meh, you guys. Meh. Okay, this may not be as hard as I thought. It's literally one switch. Going up. Yet another science sentient creature murdered by Dan in his humanitarian quest. That's two jumping creatures, which, oddly enough, is the same number of feet Dan has. Hey, are you telling them about how many feet I have? Yeah. Is it still two? Yep, still two. God, I love these two already. Combined. Hurrah! A massive trumpet. A triumph. I have successfully... Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What? I'm combining objects in my inventory like I always do. Ugh. Look. Look, if you gotta insist on sticking old boring 1995 ways of doing everything, at least call it crafting from now on. It's what all the kids are calling it now. Up oh, your... No, you want the bloody things or not? Do, 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 do. What the hell is that? Double jump boots. Now a combo of leather and fresh meat. Here you go, I combined you up some double boots. Double jump boots. Oh. Hey, Ben, look what a lovely item you crafted there. Fine. I've crafted some fine double jump boots for you. Here. Jumping is the is these which are a second process mid jump jump, so you can higher than jump higher than before. Uh huh. And you do that every single time you put on your shoes, do you? Boing 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 boing. Oh, save point. Heck yeah. What's this? Oh. That's how I get Mr. No Jump up there. Okay. This really is a bizarre, silly, goofy, interesting concept. The controls are a little... The controls aren't bad, I'm just having trouble adapting. Some sort of totem pole. If I want to get close to investigate it, I'll need some sort of periscope to breathe through. You mean snorkel? So the gas don't get me. Where? Gas leak. It from photo film pole, then the switch here I can puff. We've off now. Age for the gas dis as the gas disperses, it should be safe. Huh. Seems some switches require me to stand here like a lemon next to them. 
will deactivate if I move. Like a lemon? Oh, they both move this time. Alright. Yeah, and he can't activate floor switches. Some sort of newfangled technology. Looks like it uses a person's weight to manipulate objects elsewhere in the world. Sadly, my un undernourished my adventurer body is too far too weak and pathetic to activate the system. Not what I wanted. Look! There's a crate hanging from a rope! I bet we'll have to use all sorts of swinging and trigonometry and stuff to get past this bit. I hope we get to make a seesaw and put loads and loads of things on one side. Jesus, help me. Another one of these crates. It's your brave new world. This is your brave new world, is it, Dan? Crate pushing. Adventures have been doing that since 2003. Mate. Aha, but they're not symbols of psychological blocks when you do it. So it's not as cool. Dude, crate pushing goes back to early DOS games, man. Those box puzzles and crap. Push. I wouldn't be able to shift it, even a little bit. Besides, I have no intention of feeling gold this adventure. The hell? You don't like gold. You friggin' weirdo. You are a friggin'... What is this? It's just a dead end with spikes in it. Nobody here likes gold, I guess. I don't know. Huh. Alright. Well, this is the first point where I've had to stop and go, hmm, what's going on? So rather than just puzzle it out on camera, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. I'll see you soon. Good night.